Fall like Clemson means making new connections, memories, and friends by getting involved on campus. And some of the best ways to get involved are our top five Clemson fall events you need to know. Number five, Welcome Week. Moving into a residence hall is an important step at the beginning of fall semester for many students, but that's barely scratching the surface of what happens during Welcome Week. Clemson students connect to campus before classes begin with events such as fraternity and sorority life recruitment, Clemson Leader Day, and the Welcome Back Festival. You can also attend Gloga, a glow stick illuminated yoga session held at dusk. It's my favorite type of yoga class, one where it's too dark for anyone to see I can't actually do yoga. I'm all good. But if you want to find a way to stay plugged in for the rest of the semester, one of the most important events is Tiger Prowl, an opportunity fair where registered student organizations table to show potential members what they're all about. There are over 500 student organizations you can get involved in. So take some time to talk to several different clubs to figure out which ones interest you. And if you want another resource for getting involved on campus, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just as exciting as Tiger Prowl. I mean, it probably isn't, but you should still subscribe. Finally, the first Unites of the semester is held during Welcome Week. Unites is Clemson's late night activity series occurring on Thursdays and Fridays throughout the semester in the Barnes Center. They host events such as trivia, open mic nights, and goat yoga, meaning yoga is a much more important life skill at Clemson than I initially thought. The events I mentioned barely scratch the surface of what happens during Welcome Week, so be sure to check out your email and the university calendar to learn more about other events you might be interested in. And speaking of events you might be interested in, let's talk about number four, First Friday Parade. If you couldn't tell, we really like to support our Tigers. And one way we cheer them on is with the First Friday Parade. During the First Friday Parade, student organizations, as well as important campus figures, such as President Clements, and our own Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Chris Miller, marched through the middle of campus. The parade heads down Old Greenville Highway and ends at Riggs Field. Spectators can sit anywhere along the road to watch the festivities, which means the First Friday Parade is also the only time you'll ever enjoy seeing that much traffic in Clemson. The first Friday parade occurs before the first home football game each year. So despite what the name implies, the first Friday parade isn't necessarily held on the first Friday of the semester. Even though we totally should throw a parade for finishing up a week of classes. I think I deserve some sort of celebration for reading all my syllabi. Number three, career fair. While there are smaller career fairs offered throughout the school year for more specified fields, Clemson holds a large career fair open to students in every academic college every fall and spring semester. The career fair is held for three days and employers from all over the country will table looking for employees in the fields of technology, manufacturing, engineering, science, social sciences, humanities, and business. And while you certainly should attend the career fair if you're looking for a full-time job after graduation, you should also attend if you're looking for internships or co-ops. You never know who could connect you to a new position in the future. If you had told me I'd be interning on campus and explaining some of the really cool events Clemson has to offer, you know what? I would have said that sounds about right. Clemson has so many awesome opportunities to talk about, including number two, ways to serve. Getting involved is one of the best ways to make friends at Clemson, and one of the best ways to get involved is the various ways to serve the community. One of the most focused ways to serve during your time at Clemson is the Alternative Break Program, where students serve over their fall, spring, or winter breaks. In the past, Alternative Breaks have gone to Charleston and Tennessee, and while this is a great opportunity, there are a limited number of spots on these trips since a 15-passenger van can only hold 15 passengers. Clemson's fraternities and sororities also organize philanthropic events throughout the semester. One of the largest service-focused events is Fall and Day of Service, when Clemson students sign up to help local organizations for a morning or afternoon. It's a great way to spend a few hours, which is coincidentally the same amount of time we all spend scrolling on our phones before getting started on homework that's due at midnight. And there's another service opportunity I'd like to touch on, but that's a part of our number one fall event. Number one, homecoming week. Clemson throws a big homecoming celebration every October, and it's the most exciting week of fall semester. Clemson has several traditions alumni and current students participate in. Go watch our top five homecoming events video if you want something more in depth. But for this video, we'll stick to a few highlights. Sororities, fraternities, and other student organizations gather on Bowman Field to build 20-foot tall floats centered around the homecoming theme. At the same time, Clemson family volunteers build a Habitat for Humanity house. The hard work put into these projects is seen in the final results. It really makes you appreciate the uniqueness of construction on campus during homecoming week. And 
I guess construction on campus doesn't sound that unique, but you know what I mean. In addition to building projects, events run by multiple student organizations occur throughout the week, such as the Clemson University Student Government's Miss Homecoming pageant and the National Panhellenic Council's Fall Fest Step Show. The biggest event of Homecoming Week, besides the football game itself, is Tigerama, the second largest student-run pep rally in the country. Tigerama features skits, the crowning of Miss Homecoming, and a musical guest. Who will Tiger Live Entertainment book this year? I personally know who I'd like to see. I probably need to go practice some more if I want this gig. So while I work on my chords, let me know in the comments below how you're going to get involved at Clemson this semester. Thanks for watching and go Tigers!